All uh, right, I've just understood. I've just got this now. It took me a while to get it. So I've understood this now. I've got it, and it took me a while. Of sort of, well, I thought about it for a while, and then I sort of, um, just sort of came back to the subject, and then it just sort of like um, I got the revelation. So th this is th this. I think this is what happened. So the Romans, right? The 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 the, the Roman helmets didn't have the little bar wick on the top of it with the curved elongation on because we found archaeologists have got the helmets that they originally had so they were, they were wanting they clearly openly stated that they wanted to remove the druids right because they were an administration over the celtic tribes right and um you know, even Christianity was illegal, but the the Romans had their own gods, but they were just, you know, the gods that they worshipped. They didn't, the religious, no religious sect was the ruling authority in Rome. It was that the Roman government was the ruling authority, right? So they've got these previous Roman helmets, like on the right hand side there, right? Now, they're working up, if you read the Gallic Wars, they conquest Gaul first, so they get to know a little bit about the Druids, um, as much as they can from, you know, torturing them or capturing them or the ones who took sides with them and all this, right? Until they were trying to get into Britain. Now, then we get this helmet, right? So I've done other talks about this type of helmet. Now, it's like having a, a barrow over you. It's like your skull being buried under a barrow, really. Like the skull, the head. So if the Celts weren't afraid of death, supposedly because of all these psychedelic experiences and other things that they, that they have, likely, I think, most, most of them were baptised into religion, right? So if the Celts weren't afraid of dying, right, what would intimidate the Celts or make the Romans feel more confident is knowing that the Celts have got these, the, the long barrows that they venerate, is having like your head already dead and buried under a, under the helmet and the helmet protecting it really. So that's one sim symbol of this helmet. The other symbol is the rainbow. So like, you know, the rainbow is like the, the rainbow colors for enlightenment, which the, 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 the rainbow symbols the visionary experience. So having the, the rainbow shape over the helmet with bright colors on makes them think of the vision, it makes them think that all the Roman soldiers may be enlightened or they've got enlightenment when they're all wearing these helmets, right? And then the other thing is this. It is an elongation on the top. It is like the long barrow shape. Some of them actually go um, like that one in the middle there, right? Now... The long barrows were very important and sacred to the Druid, Druid symbolically as a male symbol, but also for the religion as well, right? Now, the Romans didn't have a ruling religion, but themselves, right? The Druids were powerful and the Druids were the governing authority. Now, it makes the Romans look powerful like the Druids if they've got all these hats on. It's not really any use in battle, that hat. I mean, it would be awkward. You'd think that, you know... In battle, if somebody hit that, it could knock your helmet off or unweight you or somehow be awkward. But they had all the shields and bows and weapons and all the training, so it didn't really matter too much about the helmet because they had the, the technology that had been forming and, and, and making the strategy and the weapons. Now, it's a little bit like now they, they've got the computers and the technology and, and, and the media, which is the equivalent of... You know, it's the equivalent of um, you know, the Romans having these metal shields and spears and arches and this certain strategy. The government have got a strategy now and the technological devices. That's why we're all losing against the governments or people that oppose their parties anyway. There's another one there in the middle. So this is the thing, right? If it was only... This is my main point as well. This is the main point out of this discussion. Right, this is the extra point that makes all that different significance and extra significance, right? So if all of the troops of the Romans, all of the auxiliary, all of the you know the the, the warriors and their army, if they were all therefore wearing these helmets 
and they were more powerful, that it looked like they were all enlightened and they were all um, superior. Even it would look they were superior to the Druids themselves. But it would also look like it, Rome is the light. They, they had this saying that Rome is the light. Rome is the light. Not, you know, the Celtic gods or the Celtic experiences the light. Apparently Rome was the light. Yet now from historical records, we find that there are a lot of diseases and things like that in Rome still. But So it's going to look like if you're a Celt warrior or a Celt soldier or even Celt member of the public, if you join the Roman army and sign up to the Roman army, right, and you're going to become powerful and enlightened, uh, and maybe also as, as, as powerful and enlightened as the Druids themselves. Now, the Druids were seen to be a different class, a higher class than the warriors, and a, a separate class, you know. They didn't pay taxes and this and that, and, and they, they made judgments over people and things like this, because they were the, the government in, in, in certain terms. We remember we had regional kings, but the Druids were overseen. So if you join the Roman army, and you're going to have... You're going to, well, you'll be under a general, but, you know, you'll be, you know, if you're in a unit or in, 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 a, in a, you know, if, you, if you're in a unit or something like that, and you get to make decisions over, you know, the people, that, the villages that you're controlling and attacking, you know, you get to be powerful, you're giving them the, the power, um, really, isn't it? you know, so it would have be, that was, it would have be a way to entice the Celts over to their side, it's, Basically, if you become one of us, then, you know, you'll be powerful, basically. Um, you know, as powerful or more powerful a Druid. And then when they see that the Druids are losing, then then it'll probably be as much to convince them, you know, which is what the government are doing now. But the government, what's happening now at this moment in time is the government are selling people on products, you know. Oh, you can have a business, you can run a t-shirt business from home, you can make loads of products, you can... Um, you know, like what Richard Branson says, you know, if I can achieve this, you can achieve anything, you know, be commercial, make things, sell things, make tax revenue for the government, you know, th that's basically what they're doing, and, you know, be an administrator on Facebook, be a moderator, you can have the button you know, you will have the power to decide who is in your group and who isn't, who has the political right to even get other people to sign the petitions in opposition. You will have the power. Almost now what Zuckerberg's doing, and unfortunately Nick Clegg as well, it's almost a little bit like be, be a group admin and moderator rather than everyone being in a group with equal equal say, which is what liberalism is, supposed to be liberal democrats, is everyone's equal, right? Um, instead... You know, you, you have the power, have the button. You know, you 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 you, you, you make judgments. You know, and you've got the armor. You know, to, to 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 block to block people, blocking people is all like the Roman armor, really. And really, the one thing, the one thing that the people could do to stop this government, um, you know, building houses next to them, blocking off the villages and views, taking away the rights to object, all this is use messenger. Messenger is the absolute thing that could remove these parties very easily. Stop Kier, Balfour Beatty, all these companies who have been cheating the rules and regulations. Messenger is messenger would be the thing. And messenger is the one thing that they've put a cap on claiming that it's spam. And I've put a representation to Nick Clegg that, you know, a petition can never be spam because the government require you to you're supposed to repeat the same message and send a high volume of messengers. That's the nature of petitioning. So it can't be classified. It's illegal to class it as spam. So that block they've got on, it's a military block. It's a political block when political things are the only things that you can't block. Nick Clegg and Mark Zuckerberg are leading the the army, really. They're leading the, 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 the new social army. It, it, it's very similar, you know, and then... With this, the, we got sold on the Roman goods and merchandise, you know, all the exotic grapes and wines and products, and then, you know, they wanted all our minerals. And it's like now they're selling us McDonald's, Burger King, selling people on the products and on the food, you know, and um, then they've got celebrities on the TV going, you know, it's okay, it's okay to be overweight, it's okay to eat excess food, it's all right, you know, George, sign up, you know, you, you could be a celebrity, you know, never mind, you could be in the Roman army, you could have the helmet on, you could be more powerful than the Druids. It's like, you, you can be a celebrity, doesn't matter if you're a bit porky, it doesn't matter if you're a bit unhealthy, doesn't matter if you're overweight, you can be 
more powerful and popular than all the people. And we will, you know, we'll back you up. You're on TV, we'll make everyone, you know, clap in the audience and laugh at your jokes and do this and that. That's basically now the equivalent of what they were doing with these helmets. You know, it's sent to the Roman army. That that's what it meant, um, and that's how they that's how they did it. But eventually, you know, Rome fell eventually, and they pulled out. You know, four hundred years later or whatever it was. So you know, and then Rome got sacked again. So you know, and Oliver Cromwell um, didn't do too bad himself, to be honest, for his little stint. So you know, we'll see what happens now. We'll see what happens now with this government. There's a lot. Of, the government are lying, are lying about so many things, about so many rules and regulations. They're trying to change, so they just just lie about it. Like when you can't object against, you know, visual, um, you know, line of sight when somebody's building something next to you. But it's, it's just changed the appearance of the village to you. It's a change the appearance of the village to me from from my house. It's not changing the appearance of the village for somebody walking down the street or driving through. It's changing the appearance of the village for me looking out my window out the village. So. It, it, visual line of sight and access and the appearance and style of the village, it's one and the same thing and they're trying to separate into different subjects to try and stop you using that to object because that will have stopped a lot of their building things and um, it, it's just another one of the cons that they've done, like the one that Bobby says is going to come in now saying that he, he, he wants to take away retro objects anyway, when he can't because it's your fundamental right to petition about anything um, so he, he, can't, he can't take it away and now he's, he's even trying to take away your right to vote away unless you buy a passport. It, it, we are being hijacked. Um, and, you know, I didn't really want to have to go into that. But it, it's, it, it's inseparable when you're talking about a, a military force coming over and taking over the country. Um, how did they do it? And, and what role, did, why did they have these? And we just, oh, that's a Roman helmet. I'm like, oh, yes, a Roman helmet. But, you know, why? Those are the reasons why. Because it symbolised um, the power and then it offered them to be part of this. Oh, your room is the light, room is the light. Um, it's like now it's saying celebrities, you know, like, come on TV, come on down, the price is right, you know, come on the show. F fans of the show, fans of the show. You know, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter, you know, if you're, you know, all these different, if you're ethnic, it doesn't matter if you're ethnic, it doesn't matter if you're a different race, it doesn't matter if you're disabled, it doesn't matter if you're fat. Doesn't matter if you're ugly. Come on down, all the celebrities get on TV. Everyone will cheer. Everyone will cheer. It's a power, you know. Um, and there is something in equality, but not a quality. It's a quality for the sake of another force that is wanting. That is not necessarily any better than the other force, you know. It is wanting to to be the force that's in charge, and it's using a certain strategy to sell to pitch its. Um, Procedures, its own schmidt, its own thing, so people will subscribe to it and assist and, and, and won't um, take the side, the other side, you know? And, and that's that's what happened. Essentially, um, that, that's what the importance of the Roman helmet is. It's got no, it's got no, in, in battle, it's really got no significant significance for, for you know, um, advantage for fighting it's actually more of a disadvantage but to be honest they had that much more of an advantage with the shields and the strategy they had that it didn't really matter about that and then you know the, the Celts were meant to be fierce and scary so it, it was it, it's just, and then you've got our where we are now which was the Bugantes you know the main largest tribe area so we're told by the Romans um, I didn't make that up the, it, we've got Helmet which is Helmet Helmet, and we've got, um, we've we've got Ag Brig at Bridge, Ag Bridge, which is at the bridge. We've also got Barwick in Helmet, and there's a little on these. There's like a little bar coming out of the helmet, Barwick, and it's like a wick on the top, isn't it? It's like the wick and a candle, Barwick in Helmet. But we've also got Sherburn in Helmet, which is you know like, um, and there was the Celtic Helmet as well. Remember. The thing with helmet and helmet is, is there was the Celtic helmet shape, which, which was the Celtic helmets, which is the shape of our hill fort. Don't know it ended up that shape or not. So th there is a bit of crossover between helmet and, and Brigantes and Bridget because the Romans started using the symbols for themselves, you know, probably to, to make themselves probably more powerful or as powerful as the main tribe, I would have thought. So that's, that's my interpretation of it. So I think it was... I think it definitely was to make the even even the normal Roman soldiers they wanted to make look 
looked more powerful than the actual druids that they were fighting. Um, and if you s subscribed and signed up with them, um, you know, apparently the room is light and offered them money as well. It's like now, there's loads of building things going on and they're buying people off. Even people's own families don't know what's going on. We had some building next to us. They didn't put their notices up properly. My own family didn't tell me either because they bought my parents out and then their parents, after they realised they made a mistake and, and it was too late then, they, they kind of misled them really. And now it, 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 the, the, they're getting people's, even people's, you know, families... Even in Facebook groups, people are uh, 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 getting they're trying to encourage people to say, oh, no politics, no politics, no politics. So you have to have a bit of politics in at least the subject of what the group's about. You know, if the subject's about, you know, um, snooker, you've got to be able to, you know, put posts about if you're wanting to get a new snooker club or change the law about snooker regulations or something like that. At least, not general politics of the whole country, but it, at least in that subject of what the group is, if it's a walking group, then you need to be talking about whether you can walk places and what paths you can walk on. There has to be at least a little bit of um, room for if you want a um, protected pathway or something like that, because that's other people who are concerned about it. You know, walking groups are concerned about pathways, you know. So, but, but you know, I, I think that, you know, f the, the messengers should be free, um free and open for, for sending petitions. And it, the, only, the only argument they've got about that messenger is spam, because it's not spam. They're claiming that anything that is repetitive or over a certain volume automatically must be spam, but it can't because a petition, by law, you have to repeat the same message, so it cannot be spam, really. Um, and that's the one thing at the moment, um, what what should be free and open, but, but it's not. And that's why they're managing... It's why it's why the, and also they put a cap on mes uh, videos on Messenger. You used to be able to send decent videos, like re record a video, send it. They've stopped everyone sending decent sized videos through Messenger now because there's a lot of people like that um, live free on YouTube and Extinction Rebellion, sent, recording things live, sending it backwards and forwards. And they don't want people to be doing that, I think. So that's why they put the um, reduce the the file size on. Video, which is kind of awkward if you've got a problem with your phone and you've got to send it to a technician to check out what's wrong with it and you kind of record it and then sometimes you can't even send that. And they're making phone data even bigger. Um, phone data and quality is increasing, file size is increasing, but they're lowering what you can send, so it seems counterproductive. Quite a, Sorry, that's a little bit extra than what I wanted to talk about, but I have to bring it into a modern context to compare it with, you know, what was the situation back then? How can we compare it to the situation now? That's how I think that it's comparable. If you don't agree with me, then fair enough.